my faithful loyal YouTube subscribers. Today it is April 1st. Monday, April 1st, the year is 2019. Last night, the hip hop rapper, social activist, uh, philanthropist, um, Nipsey Hussle was shot and killed in his loss outside his Los Angeles store. Um, for many of you who don't know who Nipsey Hussle was, and I will admit I really didn't know who he was. I'm not a big hip hop fan. I'm more of a jazz, shade. I'm an old school hip hop, old school jazz and soul person versus a hip hop art music, especially people. He was 33 years of age. His name was Nipsey Hussle. That was his stage name. The daily shooting of rapper Nipsey Hussle in South L.A. County was likely gang-related. Well, he had been involved in gangs in the past, and he still was associated with a gang, which is... And then he had opened up several, multiple businesses in the South Los Angeles area. Hussle, who was known as much for his work in the community, as for his music, was hit multiple times around 3.20 p.m. in front of his store, The Marathon Clothing, at 3420 West Slauson Avenue. He was rushed to the hospital when he was pronounced dead at 33. And so it was most likely, it was a gang related hit. The rapper owned several businesses on the block where he was shot. Um, said 54 year old Hyde Park resident, Lynn Taylor. He owned a burger restaurant, a barber shop, and a fish market. He was known to give jobs to residents who were struggling to get by, some of them homeless. He once gave a pair of shoes to every student at 59th Street, 59th Street Elementary School. He also donated money to renovate the school's playground and basketball courts. Hustle grew up in South LA in the 1990s. He made no secret of his early life in the street gang, saying in a 2014 interview with YouTube channel Vlad TV, Vlad VLAD TV, that he had joined the Rolling Sixties, a notorious Crips gang clique, as a teenager. We dealt with death, with murder, he told the Times in 2018. It was like living in a war zone where people die on these blocks and everybody's a little bit immune to it. I guess they call it post-traumatic stress. When you have people that have been at war for such a long time, I think LA suffers from that because it's not normal yet we embrace it like it is after a while. Well, there's a lot to learn about Nipsey Hussle. Um, ultimately, Nipsey Hussle, who was trying to change South LA, um, and change the culture, y'all have to understand something. Some members of our community don't want to see change. They don't want to see nothing positive happening. They like it just the way it is. This was a hit by other niggas. This is a gang hit by other gang members of a, a, a rival gang. See, he still was associated and still friends with people who were Crips. He was trying to bring peace to the neighborhood, but them niggas don't want no damn peace. I would always, I'm going to tell you this, y'all, and I've said this a million times. When you have success as, as a black person, when you, when you start having success in your life, you have to leave the hood if you want to live. You can donate and give back. You can be involved. You can write a check. You can send money. You can send your soldiers in there to work. But you better get the fuck home. Nipsey Hussle would be alive right now had he left that area and gave back. Nothing wrong with giving back. But he couldn't hang around there. That's why he's dead now. You still got, He still had a lot of haters. Angry people. Jealous. Envy. Hateful people. Enemies. He had just posted about his, his enemies. And this all goes back to him being a member of that Crips gang member. Be a member of that. You never know what's going on in niggas' heads. It could have been members of the Crips that killed him because maybe they felt he wouldn't do enough to help them out. Could have been a rival gang. But when his death is exactly gang related in some form or way, you better believe that it has something to do with his past. Had he not been there, we had removed himself out of that element away from them deadly niggas he'd be alive now you can't hang around these deadly niggas 
Yeah, you want to change the community? Sometimes changing the community means changing your zip code where you actually reside. Give back. He could, he could, you continue to give to a community, but you don't have to be there. Too dangerous. Niggas hate too damn much. They see you running around living the good life. You had a record out. He's doing well. He just had a record that came out, a Grammy nominated record that came out in 2018. He was moving forward. He's only 33 years of age. But I'm telling y'all something. Y'all need to listen to me well right now. Stay the fuck away from these deadly niggas. They will kill you. They'll kill you over this little iPhone. They don't give a fuck about your life. They don't care. They deadly. That's what they call deadly niggas. It's another deadly day in Nickerville. And the people who did, who shot and killed him someplace celebrating his death. That's how they operate. You can't be around them deadly niggas. You can't live your life around them. You can't go around them. You can't. When, if, if, when you're involved, when you grow up in that environment and you start having success, you have to leave if you want to live. You can't hang around. And I don't give a fuck about what any of you niggas got to say. Because I know how I've, I've witnessed this with so many people I personally knew who were shot and killed here in Atlanta and they were helping the community. Shot and killed by a bunch of deadly, hateful, jealous, envious ass niggas. These white folks ain't behind this man's murder. They trying to say, oh yeah, he got shot because he was telling, had a doctor me by Dr. CB. That's not why this man is dead. This man is dead because he was still over there fucking with the niggas. He thought he could change the ignorant niggas. You can't change this ignorance. It's embedded in our souls. But you can move away from it. You can't hang around Niggerville when you start having success. When you start having success, you got to leave Niggerville. Grab a U-Haul. Matter of fact, leave that junk behind. Shit, you don't need that crap. Take and just go. Get out of there. The areas are too dangerous. These niggas will kill you. I don't go around. I've learned something about even me being a black gay man. I don't hang around people I, I've known back in the day. I see these people. I say hello and goodbye. They don't know where I live at. They've not been to my home. They've not riding my car. They still stuck. I can't save them niggas. But I can save me. I can kind of say my family sort of. Even, even then, I can't say them. I can only point them in the right direction. Sometimes, Nipsey Hussle was out there trying to save a community of people. He thought if I stay here and help and make some change, that's what he was thinking. You can't hang around them, niggas. You can write a check. You can make some donations. You can open up a store, but you better not run it. You can open up a burger place, but you don't need to be there. Sounds crazy, huh? It's the truth. If you want to succeed, when, you have, when you're a black person in America and you start having success on the level that he was having success, I ain't talking about you had a success, success or uh, you have just a fried chicken shop wing on and your shop is selling a lot of wings. This man was doing big things. And them, them, street, them, street, them street hood rat niggas didn't like that. Either it was a rival gang who shot him or members of his own gang. This is what that's what took place yesterday. No white folks, no Dr. C D people, no one trying to just silence him. This was about this was some nigga shit. You better believe that. This was some deadly niggas doing what they do best. Murder, mayhem, and confusion. Well, I stay away from them. Now, some of y'all love being around black folks. That's fine. Enjoy your life. I can't do it. I tend to stay away from these nightclubs. I just tend to, I, anywhere there's a bunch of ignorant niggas, I cannot go around them. You won't catch me at West End Mall. I ain't going. You won't catch me walking up and down Lee Street over there near Western Mall. Hell no. You won't catch me at the Western train station. Any place that there's a mass amount of ignorant niggas, I can't, I, I can't go around it. I just can't. I remember little 
Underground Atlanta was wonderful until the niggas took over. I said, oh, God, this is awful down here. Underground Atlanta turned terrible and deadly and dangerous. We used to go down to Underground Atlanta for the peach drop. I don't go there no more. After I, after I was down there and witnessed my own eyes, bullets flying, and people acting the food, I was done with that event. I don't go nowhere near these crazy niggas. Wherever they are, I just can't do it. Now, some of y'all ain't going to like this video. Y'all going to swear I'm being racist against my own people, but fuck you. I got to do what's best for Walter. And Nipsey should have done what was best for him so he could have been alive. He can't do nothing for the community he dead now. Can't. He should have separated himself from the niggas. He's something. You got to leave these niggas. Our communities are too dangerous, especially to successful blacks who are trying to make a name for themselves or trying to do something. You can't hang around in these, these, these red areas. You have to leave. You can't help these people. I can say you can do it from a distance. You can give back. Like he gave shoes to all those kids at, at, at the elementary school. That's great. You want to participate and you want to be, but you, you, you just have to send them a dear John letter while you're doing it. Here's some shoes. Thank you all for supporting me. Take a snap of picture from Beverly Hills, California, where it's safe. When they first said this man was shot and killed, they said he was shot and killed in Beverly Hills store. I said, Beverly Hills store? I said, I doubt he, this man was shot and killed up there in Beverly Hills. And then it was like, so, uh, then I was signed up on Slauson. Boulevard or Slauson, I said, okay, that seems more like it. He was still down there in the hood. It, I don't, I understand what he was trying to do, but he wasn't mature enough to understand them niggas don't like you. He wasn't mature enough to understand them niggas like that community just the way it is. They don't want change. They like mayhem, madness, craziness, confusion. You can't help them. That's why I hear everybody complaining about gentrification. Gentrification is gentrification. Now, if you're looking for gentrification, these neighborhoods in many areas, urban areas will still be horrendous. I like gentrification because it push you hood rat niggas out. There's still some decent blacks in a lot of these areas. But the hood rat niggas is gone. I keep telling y'all, there's three types of black folks. You got upper class black folks, middle class black, we're going to blow income black folks. Y'all seem to think we just all black. No, no, no. I'm no. It's just the truth of the matter. By that, Nipsey had, Nipsey had stepped up a few uh, into maybe middle class, maybe even upper upper class black. He was opening up businesses. He was trying to do something positive. But now in our areas, it's hard to it's hard to do something positive in people and help people who don't like, who don't want to see change. He knew the element that he was dealing with. He knew. He still had gang ties. And that's the scary part. He knew those people. They knew him. You can't walk away from some of this stuff. Some of this stuff you got to run from. And he should have ran. He should have ran. I, I have friends right now that I've known in the early 90s who won't, they, they can't come back to Atlanta. They can't do it. They can't come back here because they know their lives would be in danger. And if they do come back, they sneak into town and they sneak out. They don't want these niggas to know they're here. When, I my when one of their family members or a funeral family member died, something happened at a funeral, they don't even go to that because they know the niggas will be waiting on their ass. So they don't intend it. Even if it's their own mama. They don't go. They can't go. Because of the past that they left, they live, the past life. They ain't about that life no more, but you still got some people out there sitting on the sidelines looking to destroy and kill them about stuff that they did back in the day. i never forget that day I was sitting over in Kirkwood and that man, this guy was shot and killed, another rapper. He was shot and killed outside the police, this pizza place right across from the police station. They said he used to rob. Now, I'm just going by what they say on the street. They said this man used to rob folks before he became a rapper and beat it off. See, the past will catch up to you if you hang around those areas. Sometimes you just got to leave this stuff. Now, I said, like I said, don't, you got to run away from these areas. You just have to leave. 
The sad part is, y'all have to please understand this. Not everyone in the black community is for improving the communities. A lot of these ignorant niggas like that shit the way it is. They do not want it to change. They love ignorance and nigga shit. Now, if that shoe don't fit your foot, if, I, if anything in this video offends you, that's because you a nigga. Because it don't offend me because I know what I'm dealing with. <coughs> Some communities you have to walk away from. You can't save everybody. Sometimes you got to save yourself. Save your own family. If you can even save them. I focus on Walter. I can't tell you these niggas running around here. I can't tell my nieces and nephews and cousins and what to do. I can't worry about them. Anymore. I can't even tell my mama what to do. She going to hell do the hell she want to. I've been there for 22 years. I can tell that nigga shit. I'm done with that. I'm right about this nigga sitting in this red shirt, sitting in this damn chair. I can only control my life and my actions. I have moved myself to a better place. New surroundings. I'm happy now. It's expensive. Oh yeah, this shit ain't cheap. But I'm happy over here. I had to move someplace where I can take control of my destiny. Not have to worry about who I'm who I'm arguing over here. Oh, me and this glass face, we gonna argue with each other, motherfucker. Fuck you, motherfucker. You fuck you, fuck, fuck you, nigga. No, fuck you, nigga. Yeah. This is the. You see anybody else around here? I'm gonna argue with this face. <laughs> Ain't nothing like peace and quietness. Yeah, lonely than a motherfucker over here, but I'm okay. Ain't no daily niggas running around here. You know, you look back on things, you say, what the fuck was I thinking? But I knew a long time ago to get away from these black areas that were, that were dangerous and deadly. To be honest with you, I should have really more high than this. I should have. After I moved in here, because there's still some, it's just, you still got some, some, some elements around here. I should have took, took, you know, it's a beautiful neighborhood. It was safe for the most part. I can walk to stuff. The gym, the grocery store, everything's walking. I ain't walked over there yet. I've been fried driving over there with some damn grocery. <laughs> got my car going in there, go to the grocery store. But I knew I had to move myself to someplace safe. I will. I would never live in these hood rat neighborhoods. I don't care if the rent was free. I'm not going down there. I can't. They're too deadly. You niggas will kill any now. You'll kill every. You'll kill every damn thing, except for the roaches in your damn kitchen. You let them roam wild. You can, when you move into a black neighborhood with ignorant black folks, you have to prepare yourself for trash all over the place. Grass uncut, poverty, raggedy cars up on bricks. I can't live amongst that bullshit. Bullets flying everywhere. Bullets flying, niggas dying. You have to separate yourself from that foolishness. Nipsey Hussle should have known better. Maybe, but maybe because he was young. And at 33 years of age, in his heart and mind, he thought, I can change this. I see what I was doing wrong, now I can better this neighborhood. But what he didn't understand was he was still surrounded by niggas, deadly niggas. You gotta move, you gotta separate yourself from that. You can't go around them niggas. Not when you got a whole new mindset and a new game plan, new thoughts and ideas. They don't wanna see that shit. They don't wanna see the new and improved you. They hated the old you. You think they're gonna like the new you? No, nigga. No, that's why he's dead right now. They didn't like it. Some people you cannot change. Some neighborhoods you have to give up on. Like I said, you can write a check. You can give back. But you don't have to be there. You can hire soldiers to go in and do all kinds of stuff. If you really care about that neighborhood and want to see some change. But you have to remove yourself out the equation because you end up dead.
I've seen this over and over. Community activists shot dead. Community activists killed. Community activists, you know, <laughs> okay. I'm not a community activist, y'all. Hold up, wait a minute. I, I get my U-Haul and get the fuck on. Y'all can have this community because I ain't, I ain't in love with nobody's rat infested fest, hood rat neighborhood. Y'all can keep this shit. I'm going to safety. After I, I, how can you, you can't change the community from your grave? You have to think about how you're gonna live. That's why a lot of these black celebrities and stuff they move way out from these. They have to get away from these niggas. They drive in town and do a little appearance here and there, and they head right back out to the suburbs, deep in the suburbs, where you don't know where they live. They can't even live in these high rises here in town. They try the niggas. These niggas crazy. There were some serious incidents that took place at a high rise here in Atlantic Station called the Atlantic. Serious issues. And then folks had to get the hell up out of there. Too many niggas. They turned to the Atlantic, they turned into a hood rat neighborhood. A beautiful high rise, niggas everywhere. She walked in there, you smell weed. You say, oh my God. They're trying to force the niggas out of there. Get stay away from these deadly niggas. If you want to live, Nipsey could be alive now, but he didn't realize the dead, he didn't factor into the deadly niggas element into this. He thought the niggas was going to be happy that he was. Now, there was some, I'm, there was, I'm, at large, I'm sure the whole community was glad to see he was making some change, glad to see some stuff improvement. One nigga can't change an entire hood. Now, when people's minds are cemented in ignorance, that's right, he's dead right now. They wanted him dead. Either this was a rival gang, or members of his own gang, or just some other random deadly niggas who just didn't like him. You never know what happens in all these areas. That's why I stay out of them. Fuck the hood. It's all good in the hood, but I ain't gonna be over there. I can't do it. The whole culture, the hip hop culture, the music, the I don't deal with none of that mess. I don't even know this I've never heard this man's music before. If I have heard it, I don't know anything about it. Then the people said he was killed, I was like, who? Nipsey Russell. I, I thought they were talking about Nipsey Russell. I thought I thought he'd been dead. You know? I don't know. Is this ain't Nipsey Russell dead? Well, what's his name? I don't know. I was Googling. The people trying to say, you don't know who this, I don't know who this man is. I'll be 49 in a few days. I am not that, y'all, I don't, I'm not into hip hop culture at all. I don't watch any of this, these rap star show, shows, hip hop, I don't watch any of this stuff. I don't listen to this radio station, v 3 if it's the only people three, I might hear a few songs. I don't know who these people are. I do Shazam. What's a nice song? Let me Shazam so I can see who it is. I don't know. And don't care. Sometimes I might just listen to I can just add something from add this to my iPods so I can listen to it later on. But I stay out these I try to stay out of these deadly neighborhoods. Here's a tell you, one killed, four injured, and shooting outside Southwest Atlanta apartments. I can't move. In, I can't live in those dangerous areas. You mind your business, and you get shot and killed. Cause niggas deadly playing this so deadly. They like these guns. They they love this stuff. They love it. Some things you cannot change. <laughs> you just better off changing your zip code and get the fuck up out of Nickerville. That's an easy hustle. Should have done. He could have still worked on his stuff. That he still could have been a community activist from a distance. He'd be alive today. This is my thoughts and opinion, y'all. But I can't stand these daily niggas because I know how they operate. I know how dangerous they are. I know where their hearts are. I know they ain't got no damn hearts. They vicious killers. And if you live in those neighborhoods, you need to be found some way out as soon as possible. I feel sorry for them children born into those environments. They sometimes don't see no hope. They see a hopeless situation. He was trying to bring hope. Look how they rewarded him. 
you like my videos, click like, share them, with my, share them with family members and friends. Thank you all for supporting my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. I was saying about it. Just, I, I don't know this man, but after I read all the great stuff that he was trying to do, it really sad me, but it's, he didn't realize he was, he was playing with, with tigers and vicious lions. He was in the den with these lions and tigers. And they killed him. Anyway, today is Monday, April 1st, the year is 2019. I'm out of here. Enjoy your Monday.